Now we're going to put the sensor into background suppression mode. So again, we're going to press and hold the mode button for greater than two seconds. That gets us into the teach menu. We'll press the select button once. And then we'll use the plus and minus buttons to toggle through to find the teach mode. BGS is background suppression. So we'll press the select button to choose that. Again, we'll use the plus or minus buttons to move through the top level menu to get to the word end, to get back to the run mode by pressing that select button. So now we're in background suppression mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach the target right where it is by pressing the select button, press and hold the select button. And we are going to push the select button one more time to set the cutoff right at the target distance. So what we have now is a cutoff that is just in front of the target that we have set. So if I move this closer and all the way to the face, we have an output condition. If I get the target just past that threshold point that we taught, I have, an, I have another output condition that is in the, in the off condition and I'm ignoring the background or background suppression. Now we're going to put the sensor into dynamic teach mode. We'll push and hold the mode button for greater than two seconds to get into the top level menu. We'll select, we'll push the select button once to get into the teach menu. We'll use the plus and min minus buttons to, to, to uh, toggle through that menu until we get to dynamic or DYN. To select that, we push the select button one time. Then we'll use the plus minus buttons to move through the top level menu to get to the word end and press select to get to run mode. Now what we're going to do is press and hold the select button greater than two seconds and that's going to set us up for dynamic start. So in dynamic teach, you're teaching the sensor on the fly. What the sensor is going to do is it's going to take samples of all the light levels that it gets, that it gets back and it's going to decide where to set that threshold, typically somewhere between the light and the dark threshold light levels that it receives back. So as the wheel spins, we're going to press this button, the select button, one time to start the dynamic teach. So now it's sampling as the bottles move past. When we push the select button again, that stops the dynamic teach. Now, as the bottles move past, we see the output give you a distance, and we see the display give you a distance, and we show the indicator show, showing the output changing when we detect the bottles.